Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. I am so excited to be filming this mommy nighttime routine and just talking through what I do at night with our little family of five. So on this evening, I was preparing pretty much the easiest meal you could possibly think of, but I think we all do that every once in a while, and that was frozen pizza. But before I do the frozen pizza, I wanted to fill up my coffee pot with water and coffee just to get it ready and prepped for the next morning. This is something that Sean normally does, but I wanted to just go ahead and get it done so that it was off our plates for the evening. So now I am pulling out our pizza for the night and I'm just going to be cutting it, putting it on plates for everybody and then just dishing up everything for the table. Let me know in the comments below if you usually eat dinner as a family or if you eat dinner kind of like in front of the TV or doing whatever spread out throughout the house. Now I have really picky eaters here at my house. so. Pizza is a win because every single person in the house likes it, which is actually really hard to find. So I love making pizza, even though it's just so simple and easy and probably not the healthiest thing ever, but my kids love it and that just makes my heart so happy. So now that we are done with dinner, I'm just gonna be heading into the kitchen with Sean and he actually was doing the dishes, which is only one dish, which is another beautiful thing about eating frozen pizza. As you can see, he is having a little bit of fun drying off the pizza tray. So then after dinner, the kids usually hang out in the living room and run around like little crazy children and play with each other and just have fun. They usually have a lot of energy after they eat a meal. So yeah, this is pretty much what our evenings look like. A little chaotic. Sometimes we put on a movie or sometimes we put on music and we just kind of hang out together. So while the kids are playing in the living room, I usually go ahead and do a couple things for myself, which is take my evening vitamins. So I wanted to say thank you to Persona for sponsoring today's video. This is my morning vitamins and my nighttime vitamins. Now I've had my eye on Persona for a while. I saw them in a YouTube video and I just thought it was like the coolest thing that they come already pre-packaged. They have your name on the packet. They have all the vitamins listed of what you're taking. And it's really cool because you basically go online and just fill out a quiz for your lifestyle, your habits, any health issues that you have any preferences that you want or things that you want to focus on and then they have their people work on a specialized personalized package for you so you get a ton of stuff that is just perfect for you and your body and your age and health and weight and all that kind of stuff so Basically, I just was going ahead and filling up my water cup so that I could drink some more water for the evening, but then I wanted to take my pills for the night. The vitamins that I was most excited about were for hair and nail growth and just for strengthening them and making them um, grow faster. If you are interested in trying out Persona, I'll have all of the details listed in my description box below if you wanna try them out. I have been getting better sleep ever since I started taking those things, and so I highly, highly recommend them. So next up on my list of things to do for the evening is just to spray down my dining room table and spray down my countertops and just get all the crumbs and all of the stuff from the day off of it just so that we can start tomorrow with a clean slate. If 
you guys like watching cleaning videos, I know that my subscribers already know this, but if you're new here, I have a cleaning channel that's called Katie's Cozy Clean Home. So if you wanna go check it out, I have it listed in my description box below where I just have a link to go check out the channel and the videos that I have on there. I love cleaning my house. I love taking you guys along with me while I do it. So make sure that you head over there and check that out. Now that we're done having our dance party for the night, we're just gonna go ahead and brush the kids' teeth. Um, I do brush all their teeth for them after they brush them themselves, or at least after they try to. So I just feel like it is not done quite the way that I am looking for, just to make sure they don't get any cavities. So I do help them with brushing their teeth. So next up we have bath time. Now we do not take baths every single night, but I wanted to give the kids a bath this night. So we went ahead and just stuck them all in the bathtub so that they could get super clean for the next day. And I've come out here to say Now Hudson loves taking his baths, so when I take him out of the bathtub, he is not really a happy camper. As you can see, he was crying and super upset about it, but you know, it was time. I usually let them hang out in the bathtub for a little while and play and just hang out. So um, yeah, now I'm just gonna be taking him in the bedroom and getting him ready for bed. And we always put lots of lotion on the kids because they all get really dry if I don't. So I just go ahead and get the Johnson's bedtime lotion out and it's in the purple container and it smells so good. It has like a lavender scent to it and we love that one. We've always used it. It just smells so good to us. So now I'm just gonna be brushing the kids' hair and you know, some takes longer than others, which Miss Fiona girl has really tangly hair. So this night, I think we forgot to put conditioner in her hair, but normally we put lots of conditioner in her hair so that it's just a little bit easier to brush out. So I don't know how we would have survived parenting without one of these sound machines. So I was putting that on for Hudson and he was having kind of a hard time going down for bed this night. We try to put him down for bed first and then the other kids second so that he has some time to relax because Mr. Hudson honestly thinks that it's like a party every night. So getting three kids to sleep in one bedroom it is kind of challenging for us, but we just try to do our best to make it work. And I've come out here to say that I love you. So the other two older kids were downstairs on the iPad, just hanging out, watching some shows. And then it was time for them to go in to the bedroom and head into bed. So Sean usually says prayers with the kids. And then we say frozen heart, which I couldn't do the full heart. We make a heart with our hands and we say goodnight. Next up, I have some self care. I go straight into my bedroom and take my makeup off. Every night, I used to be really bad about taking my makeup off, but um, more recently here, I've gotten a lot more disciplined with taking it off. I just feel so much better in the morning when I wake up with a fresh face, and I know it's really bad for your skin to sleep with your makeup on. So I used to use a Derma E oil to wash my face every night, and I fell in love with using oil to remove my makeup and wash my face, but it's kind of expensive, so I, <laughs> at some point ended up transitioning over to using coconut oil. 
So that is what I had on my face here. And then I just get a wet washcloth and it's usually pretty warm water. And I just um, wipe all the oil off my face and it seriously just melts my makeup off. And it, I just love it. It feels so good at the end of the day just to get everything off my face. Now I go in with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel, and I love this stuff. It feels so good on my skin. It was actually recommended by an esthetician, and it was one of the times I went in to get a facial. The lady recommended it, and I have never regretted buying that stuff. Next up, I use my Timeless HAC Spray with orange extract, and I just spray it all over my face, and then I follow it up with this Timeless Ferulic Acid Serum, and both of these make a huge difference in my skin, in like the plumpness the next day. It just feels so hydrated, I cannot even emphasize it enough. So now it's time to grab my jammies out of the drawer and head downstairs and hang out with Sean for the evening. So normally Sean and I hang out in the evenings. Usually we just hang out on the couch downstairs and watch a TV show together. Um, and then we just head into bed and pass out. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down in the comment section. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you're new here. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.